look at how nice that is right there. Today on the Roy Garage, we show you how to modify your transmission cross member for dual exhaust. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Roy Garage. We just installed long tube headers on the El Camino and want to do dual exhaust. Yeah, baby, yeah! When it comes to dual exhaust, you got to make sure you're thinking about your transmission cross member. There are a lot of great aftermarket parts for dual exhaust, but if you got some tools and some extra steel, we're going to show you how to modify it to make it work. We've got the C channel. Uh, we're going to grind out and notch this out to create some more space. First things first, let's mark and grind out our spot for our steel. The most important part about this step is you can always grind off more steel. So take your time and don't go too far. Hammer four. We're going to install the hammer four. Use a couple blade widths, yeah? Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I go down another half inch and see how it looks? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna switch the time lapse. Okay. An important step that we haven't mentioned yet is before you pull your transmission cross member, crawl under your car and mark where a good spot for this cutout should go. See how nice I cut that on wow. this side. Will you describe this? Describe that. Describe it, baby. Describe. 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 Who am I kidding? I'm going to be cutting it. Like a glove. Now you get to cleaning up surfaces and getting ready to weld it. Yeah. the paint oh my gosh scared the crap out of me there Jake Roy. just pulled out two more hairs Watch the paint I think you just tack it a couple times there Jake and then let her let her buck let her rip let her buck let her rip tater chip let her buck let her chip let her rip do it to it Cap'n. That's a bead right there. That's a freaking big bead. <laughs> That's a bead. It's a bead and a half. <laughs> I got it. Some, some good penetration I there. So. That's what she said. <laughs> For sure on that. It's a three quarter inch steel. Oh, yeah. Wow. This cross member is probably going to be worth 180 bucks by the time we're done with it. Bruh. You're doing something. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Beads, look at that. Well, Would you look at that? Yeah, but will it hold up for another five years? Oh yeah, I think it'll hold up longer than that. Oh, happy are you? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm really excited about the strength that it has right there. I can't. I can't even bend it. You can't bend it. No. Nope. No. Uh -uh, I tried. Stock like you, that. If you round this off a little bit, I think it would look really sharp. I think so too, but no need to do that. We're building race cars, not good real. Show cars. We're back in Leroy's garage. We've got our modified transmission cross member. Let's go reinstall it and see if it's going to work. All right, we got to put these back on here on the top. And uh, the best way to get it in there, oops, on the, on the top, I'm going to have to do how I got it out of there. We got the transmission hole right here. We'll have to um, get this in the transmission hole, uh, get one side, try to get both sides above the frame and then twist it into place. Um, probably a lot easier said than done. If you've made it this far in the video and you've decided to go with an aftermarket transmission cross member, we've got one linked in the description below that we used on the Yell Camino. If you purchase through that link, we do get a small kickback and it helps out our channel tremendously. Got our last couple bolts on this side. Oops. And then we got our transmission bolt, a nice washer. Oh, we can't forget to put this, bolt this back down too. It's a little 10 millimeter. That should be pretty easy. Oh, I need to rest my neck. Holy, but gee willikers. Boom shakalaka. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on next week's video. And you're going to, because you're going to want to check that out because we're going to be installing exhaust on this bad boy, getting it fired up, hopefully burning those tires. If you have a video idea for us, let us know in the comments below and consider becoming a member of our channel so we can continue to make more videos like this for you to help you go further faster in your garage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. That looks pretty.